Hello Cancers! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of July of 2020 reading. This is a spiritual advice reading. It's going to bring us from the 16th into the 31st of July of 2020. We have just gone through <clears throat> a Mercury in retrograde in Cancer that ended around July 12th. That involved a lunar eclipse of hard endings or the recognizing of the fact that things have gone full circle, that a path no longer serves us, us, and that now is the time to move into a new path, a new direction. Now, I know Venus was in retrograde, so there were heightened emotions. I'm sure everyone had a wonderful time during the 4th of July, but there was probably little frustrations taking place. This is all preparation for the new moon. Or the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse is about new beginnings. So there may have been or may yet still be by mid-July of 2020. Hard endings but beautiful new fated beginnings. This is an important time for the collective as well during the second half of July of 2020 to really take any negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, perspectives, and shift them into something positive. To replace um, negative music with positive music. Uh, channels that are somewhat negative to watching something positive, like cute little animal videos. Uh, this is a time to really think about how you can create more positivity in your life because when you have positive energy, that's when wonderful th things are drawn your way. That will bring new beginnings your way quicker than if you are sitting in energies of negativity. So collectively, it would be a really good time if you're waking up unfulfilled, uh, discontent, and write in your journal your feelings in the morning. And then go through a day, just one day, of following Spirit's advice and listening to positive things. Replacing negativity with positivity, even if it's in your own thoughts. For the more positive, when you take a negative thought, like I was going to, you know, recycle my trash and I didn't want to go because it was a half an hour wait and it was hot. And on my way there, I was thankful that I only had to go one mile. When I got there, because I shifted my perspective, I was the only one there the entire time. So that's what I'm talking about. Negativity breeds negative results. I'm sorry, I had three cards jump and land on the floor, so I'm going to see what they're trying to say. Now, for your guys' reading, I was guided to the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. Okay, so they're saying, mid-July of 2020, are you following your bliss? Are you creating and listening to things that make the sun shine brightly in your world? Music. Someone's soul is singing with joy by mid-July because they followed their bliss, they tried something new, they went into a direction of that which was positive. They're starting to see positive signs and synchronicities and, rec and are recognizing in the second half of July of 2020 that they have been receiving these messages from the angels. This could be someone who passed before you, a spirit guide, the dear Lord in heaven, whomever you are praying to. Look it. So that by the end of July of 2020, we have a cancer energy here who is being, they're renewing their life. They're packing up clutter, right? They're getting rid of the negativity, anything negative, thoughts, feelings, emotions. Some may be leaving a location, an idea or project behind so you can build upon that and renew it in some way. So follow your bliss, receive those signs and messages spirits trying to guide you that are positive and know that as you free yourself from the negative and renew your life, there is a higher, better path waiting for you. Dwell in the light of your truth. Who is the beautiful, blessed star within you that you were sent here to recognize within yourself? What is it? That is your bliss. Write it down. I love oil paintings. Therefore, I'm going to go to Walmart. And I'm going to get oil paints, brushes, and canvases. And I'm going to paint my little heart out. And dwell in the light of who I am and what I enjoy doing. 
For I know that as I pray to Spirit about what I'm working on, that I will exceed my own expectations, that I can now make my dreams come true and recognize that my dreams are being manifested through my prayers as well, that Spirit is helping me to clean up what was and to step into what brings me bliss and joy. Soaring into joy hearing messages from Spirit. Can I say it any clearer? For some of you, they're saying, accept what is and now move forward. Opening your heart to a journey, a new direction. For as you launch that journey, get clear of clutter, pack up and move maybe for some of you, or just go on a private little trip. You're going to recognize that as you share with others this bliss that you are experiencing, that you are rising above into a new adventure you some of you are going to start to recognize prosperity because you took a painting <clears throat> pardon me a painting slapped a price on it put it on amazon and now you can take what you are receiving and make a difference in the lives of others you can break beyond old barriers that blocked you from manifesting your dreams following your bliss and soaring into joy during the second half of july if you are clear with yourself about what fulfills you, the reason you were sent to this earth to do, right? Our gifts are something that is, <clears throat> is implanted in our soul before we're born. And so our purpose is to discover that gift within us so that eventually we can teach and help another or others. So there's a lot of that I'm feeling during the second half of July of 2020. Okay, I'm going to continue again with the Gateway Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and do a circle spread. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever cancer I'm reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of July of 2020. So someone is finally letting go. Go in with the flow. Surrender joyously to the ebb and flow of your life. Some of you have recognized what following your bliss is about and you are, it's helping you to let go. You're finding um, joy and happiness in a new direction creatively is what I'm hearing. So in your thoughts position, someone here is to believe in the magic. I, I got a few different messages. This is definitely... Let go and believe in the magic. As you follow your bliss, you will be able to mend, bread, mend bridges. So this is in the relationship sector, the circle spread. Regarding another or others. It is time to let go and heal old rifts. Be the mender. Step up and mend bridges and believe in the magic that is happening in your life. Some may come towards you because they recognize that you're following your bliss, that you're going where you wanted to always go, that you're creating what you always wanted to create or learn about. And now you're communicating about it freely. This takes a lot of trust in oneself and one's gifts. So know that creatively throughout the second half of July of 2020, Cancer, you are communicating from the depths of your being because you let go of whatever you were holding on and instead chose to believe in the magic of your talents and your skills. Yeah, so see, as you ground yourself during the second half of July of 2020 by working on a hobby, gift, talent, skill, or idea, marketing a product, however this may apply, this process is helping for you to simplify your life. For some of you, it's just a message in the second half of July to get rid of that stuff, right? That clutter, box it up and have a sale or, to, or you know, sell something on um, one of those platforms where they'll, I can't remember the names of them, where you can, they'll send you the box and the packages to send things in. They'll take a small percentage, but you can make money by just going throughout your house and getting rid of Good things you don't use is what I just heard. So in the emotional aspects position of the circle spread representing the last week of July of 2020, we have a cancer here that I'm reading for during this general reading who is recognizing that their light is illuminating out into the world. 
that you let go of something and you trusted in the magic of healing. Some of you are wanting to mend and communicate with someone a situation. Come back together is what I heard. Somebody here may be letting go of someone or something and they're coming back in together with another and they're finding their bliss. Instead of trying to find joy through another person, they're trying to either help others in some way or create something that fulfills them or you, Cancer. This process is going to simplify your life in some way and bring out that light, that radiance within you, right? Because you're finding joy in what you do. So in your subconscious position, we have launching your journey. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth, forth into the universe subconsciously. For I know that as I surrender joyously to the ebb and flow of life, that in relation to another or others, I can heal rifts. Some of you may figure out that, uh, you know, I put my energy on a spot that hurts and I imagine this and I ask someone to breathe and I know that I am a mender in some way. If you really feel that, now's the time to research that or now's the time to travel and, and connect with family or friends, you know, and talk about it. I'm launching this journey and it's helping me to let go of old broken bridges. Now, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the giving birth energy. It's beautiful. So, again, this is giving birth to something new, communicating from the depth of your being that you have let go of an old path, person, circumstance, situation. Some of you, before you launch this journey, you're going to just go and mend or heal a rift. Or you're being guided to because it's negative energy and it'll block the wonderful blessings that spirit's trying to help for you to create. So whatever simplify your life means to you, take action to do that. It, it has to do with letting go of maybe trying to control how something's going to work out. To let things mend and move ahead with a journey, an idea. Look at this. Sub, uh, in your inner strengths position. Throughout the whole second half of July of 2020, Cancer, we have planting seeds. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. For this process of following my bliss is helping me to let go and simplify my life. And as I do, as I communicate clearly about new journeys, new ideas, I know emotionally that by the end of July of 2020, I'm going to feel this beautiful radiance coming from me because I used in the inner strengths position the planting seeds energies to plant new ideas, goals, intentions, or directions for myself. Now, in a three-card summary to my right, for further clarification, we've got the week, well, we've got the 16th to around the 24th of July of 2020, a Cancer who, again, is renewing their life. They're getting rid of clutter. They're simplifying their life. They're breaking through barriers. They're communicating or they're healing rifts, and now they are looking deeper at the majestic radiance of who they are, who they were meant to be. And this process is helping them to move forward with an open heart. Some may be traveling or moving physically in a new direction during the second half of July of 2020. Follow your bliss and take action enthusiastically for life's opportunities are boundless. What is the radiance that brings you happiness and joy? What is it that brings you pleasure? Believe in the magic during the second half of July of 2020. For by the week of the 20th of July, we have someone here embarking on an adventure, traveling and or physically moving into a new direction as they open their soul to grace. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertility of my soul as I let go and cherish just the simple things. Yeah, go with the flow. Listen to your heart. Cherish yourself and stand firm with others. Proceed softly and expect miracles as there is something new that is going to start or you're going to realize this. 
I think creatively for this cancer by the end of July of 2020. Now this is a year for cancers really to build up that karmic positive energy by helping others. So now's the time to just, you know, open doors for people, maybe pay for someone's meal because what this is going to do is it's going to help for you to shine with this beautiful radiance. It's going to draw positive new things into your direction. See, by the end of July of 2020, this cancer is rising above and a doorway is opening. There's like an aha moment and now she can step through the portal of a new beginning. Your life is being guided, but you need to trust in your intuition. Spirit is trying to speak to you because you will exceed expectations, manifest your dreams, and come into a power that you have not felt before. What seeds are you planting? Let's take a deeper look, shall we? Cancer. All right, so Cancers, to clarify these messages, I'm going to bring in the Gypsy Oracle deck. I love this deck because it clarifies for me that people, places, circumstances, and situations by which Spirit is trying to give clarity about. Okay, so in the center of the circle spread, we have letting go. Yeah, someone... <laughs> has dealt with someone who's come and gone and come and gone or come and taken something and left or someone who has the thief energies that have steal, stolen your peace of mind. They have darkened your radiance. Whether this is, has to do with business, family, love. So during the second half of July of 2020, in the thoughts position spirit saying, now is the time to travel and move into new directions to follow your bliss and believe in the magic of you. For this will give you the strength to let go of someone who is stealing your peace of mind, someone who should not be trusted. Now, in the relationship sector, we have this desire for someone to come in and help heal us in some way. A desire to mend bridges or heal some form of rift. If there is a need to free your mind because you needed to communicate with someone, I think the week of, the, of July 20th of 2020 would be a good time to communicate. To communicate how you feel so you can either move forward with someone or something or let go. Okay, this is a time of difficult endings but exciting new beginnings during the second half of July of 2020. So we have someone kind of sighing in relief. I spoke my communications. I simplified my situation because I took in the actions position with the conversation energy time and effort and had a conversation and now I'm sighing in relief because I now this is a couple things if you guys are working on a hobby gift talent skill creative idea marketing a product you're going to be feeling energies of great cheerfulness whatever was stealing your peace of mind remember let go of negative thoughts Believe in the magic as you move forward because there will be something celebrated and people are going to see you really shine by the end of July of 2020, Cancer. Beautiful. Now, emotionally, someone may be drawn to you because you're focused on your own exciting goals and intentions and the fact that you're giving off a bright, beautiful aura. The fact that you have said to someone, hey, are we going to amend this? Are we not? I want to simplify my life. And this conversation will help both of us to decide if we should let go. Subconsciously, here we have you saying, you know, I'm launching a journey one way or another. I've cleared up the clutter. I'm packing my stuff. And I'm thinking subconsciously about a lover. I'm hoping they'll come and help heal me in, from, from stealing my peace of mind. But I know that as I communicate, for some of you, I can mend that bridge, but I can also let go. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we had giving birth and the melancholy energies. So remember, in the second half of July of 2020, we just got over the lunar eclipse of hard endings, things going full circle, and now the solar eclipse is about fate, forgiveness, and figuring out where we belong, or who belongs in our journey with us. 
It's a time to rest, create, and then decide. So in the inner strengths position, we have planting seeds, seeds of grace, gracefully speaking your truth so you can let go of that which was speaking or who was stealing your peace of mind. For a conversation will help for you to simplify your life. So I'm going to clarify real quick. They're saying trust that you are being truly guided right now. And in this three-card summary from the 16th to around the 24th of July, someone here, and I think this is you, Cancer, is waiting for, with the consolation energy, someone to kind of throw you a bone. Someone may travel towards you by mid-July, and you have the priest energies. You're like, you know what? They stole my peace of mind. They came, they went, and now I have the strength and the clarity to let go if I so choose. For I have evolved with the young woman or man energies. I am ready for a deeper commitment. And I'm looking at this Lord energies. Someone maybe older than you, Cancer, or just someone who's in a leadership position. And I'm recognizing that as I put my effort in, I'm making more money. And it's given me the strength to recognize that something has ended. I'm stubborn and I'm frustrated because of despair and misfortune after communicating with another. <clears throat> Therefore, during the week of July 20th of 2020, Spirit saying, serve yourself by mending bridges, communicating your truth, simplifying your life so that you can move towards that which brings you bliss and healing so that you can reveal that beautiful inner light of yours and give birth to something new. Believe in the magic. There's a radiance that's trying to shine from within you. You've learned a lot with the old woman or man energies, and now you know what you've needed to know in this life. So how are you going to free yourself from sorrow? Connect with a friend. Some of you may realize with the joyfulness energies, um, it's a joyful connection. But I'm going to gracefully plant these seeds and recognize falseness. Regarding someone who's reuniting, somebody who wants to reunite, maybe communicates about reuniting, and you're researching the situation, but we've got a soldier energy. Hardcore exterior, love them and leave them. Someone here may want to, this cancer wants to get married and have a family. They're looking at a great fortune, but someone else has the pleasure seeker energy. They're just here to have a good time. So simplify your thoughts because there is someone who is not being completely honest. They don't want uh, to move forward as of yet. Now, it could be cancer that you're forcing something to happen too quickly. And that's why Spirit's saying, give birth to your bliss, what it is that fulfills you day to day, and enjoy the melancholy energies of patience and contentment. Yeah, wow, how did these come out? These two first. We have the peacock and the enemy. So we have someone here who has arrogance or is dealing with energies of ego, and they have the lies and deceit energies of the enemy. Somebody wants a transformation where they become, can become a wife or husband material. Hoping that they could profit in some way or find abundance. But then they have the death energies. Waiting and then being surprised that all you're bringing back upon yourself with the full energies is that <clears throat> overthinking all over again. So the main advice right off the bat was let go of anyone who is stealing your peace of mind. Speak your truth. Well, at the same time, give birth to what fulfills you day to day. You can plant new seeds even in the midst of someone's falseness. You can still focus on you. Believe in the magic, mend bridges, but launch the journey that you are passionate about. For some of you, someone's going to come back, but I just see falseness, lies, and deceit. So there needs to be a conversation. And I think you guys will reveal, like, people are going to see respect in you when you have that conversation. And you're going to feel cheerfulness after having that conversation. Yeah, so we start out with the Nine of Swords here. Let go of the thief that is stealing your peace of mind. If there's someone you can't sleep because of, let go. 
because love is about being assured that someone loves you. Believe in the magic as you move forward and travel into new directions. Yes, some of you are thinking about and are researching something in the area of creativity, finance, career, things of the material. We have the strength energy in the relationship sector to another or others. Having the strength to push beyond this inability to sleep at night. To communicate very truthfully. <clears throat> For some of you, maybe to, with into an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or this is your energy, and you're saying, oh, well, I communicated clearly, and now look it. This conversation has brought me above the old battles, and now a door behind me is opening. I am letting go, yeah, for some of you of an air sign or someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, because a path has gone full circle. The swords of difficulty are dissipating and now you can stand up so much stronger because of what you learned. And it's like you get back in touch with the cheerfulness and the radiance of who you are because you moved away from not sleeping at night. You let go of someone stealing your peace of mind. You launched your journey in a very passionate way. And because you're starting to shine brightly by the last week of July of 2020 cancer, Someone or something comes towards you very quickly. Yeah, here you are, day to day, trying to give birth to something, following your bliss, finding contentment, and communicating clearly. And you're looking at an offer. Now, with the Four of Cups, to me, this is another empty offer. That's why you can't sleep at night. Some of you are going to be sighing in relief that you had a conversation, that your life feels simply, simpler because of the conversation. And now you can go away from someone's falseness. So in your inner strengths position, we have falseness. Recognizing that, yes, indeed, someone around you is involved in a three-party situation. Therefore, it's time to plant seeds of grace in your own soul. To heal and move towards success. Some of you are leaving an air sign behind and all of a sudden you come into connection maybe with someone who has Leo in their chart or fire, Sag Aries, or Leo. And you're indecisive about a new chapter. So yeah, some of you are going to come to the realization that someone outside of you should not be trusted. This could be an older air sign or older than you, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Feeling stuck or trapped, unsure as to how to move ahead, but spirit saying, focus on your victory and your success. Cancer. For justice will turn in your favor if you'll just get clear about what you need to do. If you see falseness, if you learn about falseness, Spirit's saying, let reveal your radiance to the world and move forward into a path of victory and cheerfulness. You will have the strength to see more clearly. <coughs> What it is you want to give birth to. What seeds you want to plant and celebrate in your own life. Simplify your life by speaking your truth. For some of you, trust your intuition. Some of you brought upon yourself a situation that just puts you in this trapped energy where you can't sleep at night. So Spirit's saying focus on finances and creativity, things that you enjoy. Follow your bliss for this process will help for you to find contentment day to day, to simplify your life from falseness of others or difficulties and instead bring you back to who you were meant to be, okay? Now I'm closing with one card from the uh, Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Uh, this is the energy that will be... Uh, around you during the second half of July of 2020. Should these messages have resonated for you? And thank you to those of you whom have let me know in my comments section. That helps me a lot. Uh, know that I do offer personal readings at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Now Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try.
So closing message is the two of action, right? Which way do I go? Should I or shouldn't I? Maybe some of you are researching a connection with someone who has Earth in their chart, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Regardless, trust in your ability to make excellent choices during the second half of July of 2020. There is opportunity all around you if you'll just continue to move forward, right? Something is ending. It was long. It was difficult. It's done. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. So some of you, it's time to connect with others who like to do the same thing as you. Um, but yeah, someone here who is carrying energies of falseness needs to go. They're kind of blocking your success. They have negative energy. And until you go away, it's like the second someone finally says, I'm focusing on me, something quickly comes your way. And again, it could be someone new if you're single. So if we focus on someone or something tied to the past that's negative, we can't get the blessing until we have prayed to spirit to take it off us, to bless us with newness and tell spirit, I'm ready to let go of a situation, take it away and bless me with something much better. Okay, keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of each little moment and each little word, okay? Be open to success right behind that. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to divine guidance. Follow your bliss. What does that mean to you? You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. For some of you, there will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude. The gratitude that you truly deserve. For some of you, as soon as you emotionally let go and start sleeping good at night, even if you have to have a communication to let go, something could come in very quickly and you are just going to give birth to a brand new beginning. And follow your intuition this time and not get caught up with someone who doesn't deserve your attention. All right, thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.